hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to learn how to find excavation level for drainage pipes and we will learn how to find slope of a drainage pipe so uh, this video is going to be very important if you are working as a site supervisor or a surveyor on the site and uh, you have to lay down the drainage pipes and the excavation levels have to be uh, calculated and uh, you will have to guide the excavator operator how deep you will have to go to achieve this level okay so this video is going to be very important as uh, this is in this video you can see this is invert level or you can say inflow level and this is outflow level and the total length of a pipe is 100 feet so we will follow just three simple steps and at the end of this video you will be able to find the level of this pipe using this slope at any random distance okay so you are requested to watch the complete video to get better understanding of the topic and if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates let's start our today's topic first of all given data total length of a pipe is 100 feet okay and the diameter of a pipe is 1.5 feet this is the given data which is uh, normally mentioned in the drawings of the sewer line or drainage line okay and uh, the slope of a pipe is normally this slope is adopted for drainage this slope is considered good and it is it can be called as non scurrying and non silting velocity and uh, normally 1 by 2 to 1 by 4 slope is uh, kept for drainage and sewer lines okay and the slope as you can see over here is 1 by 4 ratio 1 it means that if you go 1 feet in horizontal distance you will have to lift or rise 1 by 4 inches okay so this is the slope already mentioned in given data and invert level is also given invert level is the level uh, where water enter into the pipe without any obstruction so this is the inner level of the pipe so that water can enter without any resistance into the pipe okay so this level is given and this is inflow and this is outflow and slope is in this direction okay as you can see the tilt of a pipe the slope is in outflow direction and this is ground level as we are going to find the excavation levels these levels okay so ground level will be taken as datum or you can say the reference point ground level is for reference point so by using this reference point or this level you will have to determine that how much deep we will have to go to lay down this pipe so solution uh, step number one simplify slope what we will do slope as we know that is equal to rise divided by run and one by four inches as over here you can see slope is 1 by 4 inches ratio 1 in 1 feet okay so 1 by 4 means 0 0.25 inches and if we convert it into feet as this is 0 0.25 inches and convert it into feet we will use the factor 12 divided by 1 so the slope will become 0 0.02 okay slope has been simplified this was the uh, step number one so in step number two find inflow level as invert level is already given so you will have to find how deep we will have to go okay so ground level minus invert level ground level is already mentioned over here 1884 minus invert level invert level is 1882 as it was in the given data so 2 feet answer is 2 feet so 2 feet excavation required at inflow side so at this point 2 feet deep excavation is required I hope you are getting my point okay so this was step number 2 in step number 3 find the outflow level this level have to be determined okay so for this value simply you what we will do is slope multiply by distance 
as slope is 0.02 that we simplified in step number 1 multiply by distance the total length of the pipe so we will get 2 feet okay now we have reached this level okay 2 feet and if we multiply slope it's mean that we are going 100 feet uh, traveling 100 feet distance and reached this level okay it's mean that this level outflow level is 2 two, 2 two feet lower than inflow level so 2 feet so outflow level will be equal to invert level minus 2 feet this 2 feet will be used so 1 double at 2 minus 2 1 double at 2 is the invert level minus this 2 feet we will get 1 double at 0 which is outflow level okay so 4 feet excavation will be required at inflow side 4 feet excavation will be required at inflow side so that's uh, by following these three steps as you can see our here this is the ground level at first step we found the inflow level then we found simplified the slope and then we find out the outflow level so these three simple steps are followed in the end i am going to tell you how will you find the level at any random distance for example we suppose we find the distance at mid interval okay at mid distance that is 50 feet distance simply slope multiplied by distance now the distance have become 50 feet as the total distance was 100 feet and half distance is 50 feet so simply by multiplying slope by distance we will get the excavation level that is 1 feet okay again this 1 uh, feet is from this level okay invert level so midpoint level will be equal to invert level minus this 1 feet so invert level is 1 double at 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 double at 1 so if we subtract it from ground level as ground level is the reference point if we subtract this value 1881 from ground level we will get 3 feet so at midpoint at 50 feet 3 feet excavation is required from ground level okay so 3 feet excavation is required at midpoint so at any distance if you find to uh, if you want to find the distance at any uh, for example 25 feet simply multiply slope multiply by this distance this is 25 you will get 0.5 feet then subtract uh, uh, subtract it from in inflow level you will get at uh, level at excavation level at this point so these are the simple three steps that you can follow to find the excavation level of any drainage or sewage line so that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today